today for the Bitcoin price. And guys, this is an unscheduled video. I was not planning to make a video actually. I am on the go right now, but on the way outside, I found something actually, and I have to talk about this. This will be probably one of the shortest videos I've ever made. Nevertheless, one of the most important ones. Make sure you watch this video until the very end. You sit down, you scroll down, you smash up the like button to a new all-time high. Recently, guys, you've been crushing it. We are getting 10, 15,000 likes on every single video. Thank you so much for that. And now let me go straight into the content. I don't want to waste even second of it and i'm not this is not the most important thing actually but this is just what i wanted to tell you quickly here paypal will enable bitcoin withdrawals soon this means they have to physically back the bitcoin and this is already a very good news because initially the withdrawals in physical bitcoin were not possible now that this function is possible of course they have to buy and hold these bitcoins in custody which will furthermore contract the circulating supply of bitcoin by adding paypal as a potential big holder but this is not the main purpose of that video the main purpose of that video and i will bear with me guys talk about the charts in the end of the video so stick it with me until the very end the main purpose of that video is actually what i wanted to talk about right here and this is something which completely blew my mind even though waves were actually selling bitcoin you can see that the accumulation addresses so all addresses which are holding bitcoin for a very long time minus the ones who are holding uh, holding for more than seven years because we don't want to take the lost bitcoin into consideration they keep accumulating and with that dump they were accumulating even more more and more accumulation addresses are in bitcoin and the more accum accumulation addresses we are having in bitcoin the more we are actually potentially con uh, contracting the circulating supply number one number two is the whale addresses i was actually talking about yesterday you can see they were actually continuously dumping into the market and just recently start stopped dumping the price i mean no one knows whether they are stopping um, eventually with that but so far it looks like waste of dumping the most important thing are these two metrics these two metrics and especially this one guys let me come to the hash ribbon very soon this is what i consider to be the craziest and strongest metric as to consider whether we are still in a bull market or not technically only from the charts you would have to say we are in a bear market but on chain so many things are pointing towards that we are not the first thing is the net realized profit and loss which is showing us how many addresses on the bitcoin blockchain are realizing their profits or losses so in a bull market of course we have it green we have most of the people having their realized profits way up in the sky in a bear market we are usually suppressed and most of the people are having negative realized profits so losses well <laughs> look at this what the f happened here in the last week like we never ever had in the history of bitcoin the net unrealized losses as low as in the last week and this ladies and gentlemen is definitely something i would consider to be bullish for bitcoin in that regard that usually for a healthy market structure we need to wash out the weekends we need many people to be unprofitable as sad as it sounds we need to wash out the weekends because as you know da vinci is always saying it the market is designed to take the most amount of money from the most amount of people most of the time and this chart here is exactly signifying that guys and the next one is the hash ribbons by the way guys before i'm going to the hash ribbons remember in the pinned comment down below you will actually find five thousand 810 us dollars in free bonus this bonus period is actually going over as i am speaking here so make sure you're going down below in the pinned comment click the link i don't know when it's exactly over but very soon click the link make your own account and after your initial deposit you get 5810 us dollars for free step number one click the link step number two make the account takes like 10 12 seconds or so and after the initial deposit you get the bonus and you can trade with this free bonus for free but now let's get back to business guys let's get back into this one here the hash ribbons the hash ribbons indicator is showing us whenever miners are capitulating and i really want to make sure that you understand the severity of this specific indicator because in the last 11 years it was flashing 11 times whenever the miners are capitulating turning off their mining equipment and recently we had this um exogenously caused mining uh, power outage in this chinese chinese province so it is a little bit different but whenever miners are capitulating and the hash rate so the amount of computing power securing the bitcoin network is going severely down then the shorter moving average of the hash rate goes below the long-term moving average and this is considered a miners capitulation it's not a buy signal not a sell signal however whenever the miners are recovering 
this is considered a very big buy signal and this is whenever these vertical areas here you see these vertical red areas when they are stopping this is when the buy signal comes and just look at it it's 11 signals 10 out of them whenever you bought when this red area stopped you see it whenever you bought the red area stopping you never saw the prices again in fact on a weekly basis you were severely profitable by just buying this signal with one exception of course in the c pandemic dump here on the black thursday right let me go back to this one here and right now you can see just like two three days ago the buy signal is flashing again and this ladies and gentlemen this is something i want to consider as let me quickly go back by the way guys let me let me show you here the the beautiful view here over the harbor i'm actually here to concentrate on content and push push more content towards you guys this is my main purpose here during this um, retreat time but this is what i was waiting for guys i was waiting for the hash ribbons indicator i actually didn't expect it to come here once again now we have to wait and see and see if this is actually as legit and as powerful as the previous ones since uh, this was still caused by a mining outage but overall we have a lot of fundamental indications actually pointing towards that the bull market is not over yet. If you hold me at gunpoint and you ask me, Chris, from a technical point of view, do you think it's over or not? I would have to say yes, because we hit 11 years resistance, we had the pi cycle top indicator and we closed below the 21 week EMA. From a fundamental perspective, we are speaking a completely different language. And now I'm talking quickly here about the four hourly candles just for a few seconds. You can see that so far everything was uh, actually happening as we were predicting it bitcoin was unfortunately also rejected by the neckline of the inverse head and shoulders pattern so the inverse head and shoulders pattern may be not happening anymore bitcoin still having a possibility here of breaking the w but we are in this ascending channel here so let's wait and see what happens because um yeah you can see pretty much exactly bitcoin is fighting right now with the four hourly ribbon however if bitcoin is closing decisively above the four hourly ribbon and we also see the shorter moving average going above the long-term moving average i could see this flipping into a bull trend on the four hourly so far we're in a bear trend but i can see this flipping into a bull trend let's uh, wait and see what happens here and this was already it guys i have more videos upcoming for you the next one will be next ones will be a little bit more trading focused a little bit more on price predictions but these fundamental things i just feel obligated to talk about that they are in my opinion especially in the mid and long run more important than everything else like if you agree with me like if you want more of these videos on the sidelines and make sure you're coming back to the mm crypto channel as soon as possible go down below press subscribe press the bell and press on all and with that being said thank you so much for watching and we will see each other very soon in the next one of mm crypto and as always guys as always bye bye